So, I found something interesting under my bed since we last recorded. Uh, must have been left by Yogg-Sothoth. Oh, you think so? You think this tiny shitty demon- Hey, Shut how up. you doing? <laughs> anyway. I'm- I'm keeping him. I'm fucking keeping him. I'm calling him Chippy. <sighs> okay. That sounds good. Well, uh, if you if you have any trouble with that, then uh, let's see here. All right, page eighty-five in the Necronomicon. In invocation of the first ancient one, or when summoned before him with his power, the supplicant the supplicant demonstrates his fidelity to the god by falling to his knees and placing his palms over his eyes with the fingers up, then rhythmically bowing at the waist until his head touches the ground, as though in silent lamentation. This he does nine times, having a care to the number. For if the obeisance is given incorrectly, or the number is more or less, the god will blast to glowing cinders the body of his careless worshipper. Well, that's all well and good, but what does this shitty little idiot eat? Uh, Stop just, staring at me. I'll just put Stop. stuff in front of him. See what hap see what disappears overnight. You like cheeseburgers? God, he smells awful. Anyway, welcome back to First Life. <laughs> <laughs> we have just met Shane, and Shane is a class ass creep. Cla class ass, class A creepo. <laughs> class act creepo. Yes. Gotta get this city ready for the real me. My name is Buck, and I like to mess around with conduits. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have to go to the top of the big neon sign. Not that one over there. We have a specific one in mind. What well, you, you need to destroy a neon sign for this asshole. I'm already headed for some neon gas. <laughs> Who said anything about destroying? Anyone else notice that Shane talks like the preacher guy from Poltergeist 3? Hmm. Well, he does say later that he was born and raised in Texas. I'm not sure if Poltergeist 3 takes place in Texas, but there you go. I'm not sure if that accent is any more accurate than what's-his-face back from the main game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you mean Mr. Smoke Power Monster Truck? She betrayed me! <laughs> Go make yourself useful. Well, get out of the town. You can't do that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> So, the neon gas that we've just released does a couple different things to the city. Uh, we can collect Newmans to earn skill points. One new Lumen is one skill point that just laying around. I need all the firepower I can get. Oh, that's actually... That's not bad, actually. That's not quite as onerous as I thought. Yeah, and then... There are these races against lumens, where you can earn two lumens for catching a lumen cluster. Jesus. This is like Rayman meets Crackdown. <laughs> oh, wait, hang on. I think Yogg-Sothoth only just opened the portal for me, but what actually came through was a spirit sent by shub -Nugurath. Ah! The black goat with the thousand young. Yeah. That explains the smell. And the milky discharge. <laughs> yeah, um... Stop! Put down a towel, you little <laughs> bastard! Uh, it, it survives Fuck on it. sex, so... Oh, you know. God! Why did you summon that?! That's just... <laughs> no, but, you sit over no, there! No, hold on, hold on. Now that, uh... Now that we've also released the gas in the sign, there are also puffs of neon that we can run through for short bursts of speed. So, not only can fetch get around the city faster than Col than Delson ever could, but she can do it in much more style, because Neon's great, and she's just permanently Neon. Wow, I wonder if she could outpace this slobbering little pervert that our friend Bob and Threadbear was <laughs> 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 oh, I enjoyed probably, this but it, it can teleport, though, so... Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> Where's Brent? None of you speak English? Uh, Akurans again, huh? The Akurans are back. Uh, they're actually one of the main threats of the game. 
And for every enemy you defeat, they build up that little circle up in the top there. And when you build it all up, you get a singularity, which is uh, Fetch's version of the Karma Bomb. Hmm. So you could have just said no without lying. You, you couldn't. You didn't have to be cagey. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so you push down, use Neon Singularity, and there you go. It just Jesus. sucks everything. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that owns. Not sure that's how neon works, but okay. Listen, it doesn't have to be how it works if it looks cool. <laughs> well, it also doesn't tend to, you know, run around on the streets, so there's that too. <laughs> it's a superhero story. It's it's fine as long as it looks cool. It's fine. I mean, it is heavier than air, but it usually doesn't, you know, flee. <laughs> and enough with the feelers. I get it, you're a creep, okay? Let's move past it. Uh, now, now, I will have you know that some women find me irresistible. <laughs> sure, if you're paying them. That's what's called <laughs> low standards. Ready to steal the guns, all right? Au revoir. Yeah. Shane is... A thing. Anyway, it was established last game that uh, Fetch was a pretty good graffiti artist with the neon, so of course we get to do it. You just move your controller around and then push the R2 button and you try and cluster all the uh, gas particles together. Oh, that's cool. I like these. <laughs> so by do it, you mean have even less interaction than before. Eh. At least it makes more sense. She doesn't have to worry about layering and stuff. Apparently she does so anyway. Hmm. And for some reason that means not doing the entire thing either. <laughs> how how do they get rid of that, by the way? A strong fan. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just buying a bunch of upgrades, increased my uh, neon capacity a little bit, and I bought a new thing for the melee attacks. Basically, see that little triangle with the times one there? You can instantly take out most enemies in one hit with by pushing the triangle button, and you recharge it by doing normal melee attacks against other enemies. Fair enough. So it sort of, sort of works like the old Batman principle. Yeah. You see, honey, if they find out it was me that stole this stuff, there'll be a retribution which I would very much like to avoid. Come on, you have a How did he get this thing in here? Very carefully. And then carefully reset up the trash cans. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> Maybe it's been there for a while. Probably came in by a different entrance, though. Maybe he's a truck conduit, and he just won't tell you. So, this mission is a little different, because you don't really have to worry about your own health, per se, but you really do have to worry about Shane's truck's health. Rocket launcher, pop ahead! Come on, do something! So does, uh, is it just me, or does she have a different sound effect for her, uh, neon bolts? I think it is slightly different, yes. We're blocked. Now I'm ditching the truck. Cover me while I run. No. Oh, Shane, you dipshit. Yeah, I mean, you've got a weapon of mass destruction hanging out on your roof, man. Yeah, come on. Give her a chance. Doink. Thank goodness cars turn into paper mache when you blow them up. I know. I think that actually, considering that we're on a truck, what really would have happened wouldn't have been that much different. The, the, the real question is why they needed to blow up first, though. And this one, this particular version of this mission is nice because it gives you a neon sign because they figure you probably aren't going to spend all of your hard-earned skill points in pumping up your neon capacity up to full. This is crazy. This is cuckoo bananas, Shane. What are you even doing? 
<laughs> He's trying to run drugs, I think. Or guns, or... I don't know. Something. Run, it, run his mouth. <laughs> we should have been going like this the whole time! Yeah, we really should have. Yeah, I think we have been, honestly. I love killing people! This is great! Is it just me, or is there a lot of city art that's inspired by DNA in this town? Hmm. You know, even the dinosaurs might have fit in with that. I, I yeah, think it's maybe. like a meta-commentary by the developers. Are you saying that we had something to do with dino DNA? <laughs> Imagine that, actually. <laughs> Neon-powered dinosaurs. Whoa, okay. I think that happened in Blood Dragon. You, uh, you now have my attention. I was flagging a little bit as this video went on, but Neon Dinosaurs brought me right back. <laughs> <laughs> I think I saw a video about that once. Ooh. Wait, no, that was a unicorn. <laughs> uh, here, uh, here, here in Calgary, the, uh, the zoo has added a bunch of, like, eating, walking, pooping animatronic dinosaurs to the zoo. Nice. I'm really excited, actually, to see the pooping. <laughs> oh, hey, it's a faux restaurant. Yeah. You guys ever had faux? No. Are you, are you trying to bait somebody into telling you that it's actually faux? <laughs> uh, no, it's just that I don't really care. <laughs> because I call it General Tso's Chicken anyway. <laughs> it's war and words. I've, I've played enough Dynasty Warriors to know that it's something like Sir... Exactly. Do I don't you. care. Oh, come on, man. It's fun. Aww. It's fun to try and pronounce things in the correct way. Like Dos Binania and, um, and, and America. <laughs> <laughs> this is really the only side mission that um that fetch has that has any like that has enough substance to show every one of them so like because it is dlc so you have less to do but i would prefer a game be short and not have as much to do and get its point across than a game be ultra long and just drag on i'm looking at you every assassin's creed game that has ever come out uh, Far Cry Primal? Far Cry Primal. Well, as far as pronunciations go, all I'm going to say is that we don't call them judges. We call them judges. Wait, you don't? <laughs> you do. I'm just saying, uh, I exercise my jugement. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's right. Another um, another upgrade that I've picked up is an air dash. So uh, if you can just run for a little bit in the air without losing a lot of altitude. Wow, how innovative. That was worth pointing out. It was, it's nice. I mean... <laughs> You're just finding things to complain about now. <laughs> hey, we can always complain about Kalon. Hey... Oh, <laughs> Why didn't you send him the sex goblin? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, some guys you can make fun of. Some guys you can send sex goblins. It's it's all about context. How people react to different things. So this mission, this mission, you're going around from sniper point to sniper point, and you're hanging, and you're like grabbing these neon. Like, I don't even know what they are, but they make your bolts supercharged, and you can kill all enemies in one hit. It's actually an upgrade that you can get in um, in the arena fights, but uh, the upgrades are randomized, and it sucks, because I would love to have this on a regular basis. That's amazing. I need all the muscle I can get. Look, if you guys are getting spotted, let's use that. So it's like, this This is in exchange for not getting a normal rocket? 
for Neon? Uh, no, it's not. Um, you do get a normal rocket for Neon, but it is actually really late in the game that you get a normal rocket for Neon. And it's also not a thing that you would that you do on your own. It is specifically for like these mission types that uh, that you get these super bolts. So like these literally disappear when you're not on this mission then. I uh, I mean if they don't then I haven't found a way to use utilize them. They, they look sort of like I don't know like lawn lights. Hey, I got their attention. Get you guys out. Kinda yeah. Or bug zappers or something. They're tiki torches de la muerte. <laughs> yeah, just like those little black hooded lights that you put in your garden to make it light up at night. Yeah. The why they're on the roofs of buildings, I'll have no idea. I cannot begin to explain that, no. It's actually to protect against low-flying base jumpers. Oh. It's a big commuter fad in uh, in Seattle, actually. Uh, base jumping to work. They're really into health. Hmm. Oh, and um, something I also forgot to point out is... Uh, if you hit an enemy, they explode in neon, and any enemy caught in the radius will also go down. That's ghoulish! <laughs> well, it would be, but you keep getting good karma, so she's apparently knocking everybody out somehow. No, it's not... It's not. She doesn't have karma at all. It's just when you... When you eliminate an enemy, it just builds up your singularity. She, she does not have a morality system associated with her. Which I think is how Infamous really should be anyway, considering, like, 80% of the players just do the good route anyway. I gotta help my brother. Gotta help my brother. If I have to kill two dozen men to do it. One of the men you just saved? current lieutenant made a collection in Georgetown. Now, if we find this guy on surveillance footage... May be able to track him back to where they're holding Brent. Now, every now and then, you're okay. Oh, that mean you're finally gonna let this cowboy ride the bull? Bulls are all male, dude. <laughs> I forgot that line. This is what happens when you don't play, when you don't watch these videos for like, uh, how long has it been? Almost two months, over th to almost two months, yeah, something like that. Let's see what. Cool neon graffiti thing we can do this time. I hope it's peeing Calvin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I think we'd be breaking that trademark of an illegal trademark anyway. Oh yeah, good point. Taking on more than we could handle. Aww. Nothing new there. Oh brother and sister fishing time. Hey. Attention to detail with the uh Alternate color mohawk. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is a cool upgrade. Rapid fire. We can just hold down the button and shoot a constant stream of fuck you, Neon. Melee finisher ammo capacity. Yeah, so you can upgrade the, um, the amount of triangles that you can hold. I think the maximum you can hold is times four. One of these days I will show it off. Oh, probably right. No, okay. Well, one of these days I will show off using the uh, the melee finisher. Yeah, shooting their weak spots for massive damage is just too useful, mm -hmm. I guess. And actually, uh, speaking of which, now I have bought an upgrade that when you shoot them in the weak point, you actually recharge a little bit of your time slowdown. Ah. Useful. Yeah, that's, that's actually really useful. <laughs> I wonder how much this screen would just taunt people who believe in the whole machine transcendence thing. <laughs> Singularity available. How come you're not using it? <laughs> Gosh. Uh, hello? Hi. Oh, man. Jenny, I work for... With Shane. I guess I'm supposed to help you track down in a current lieutenant. Over the phone? We'll use city cameras. You get me their IDs, then I'll know where to look for footage. I'm sending you the location where our guy was last seen. 
What's this guy's problem? <laughs> I don't know. Jenny, I work for the city, and uh, sometimes Shane. Uh, the camera ID is like a QR code. You can scan for it. What are all the? Why are they running away from? Footage for this guy. We've got some killer facial recognition software. They're running away from the stumbling guy. <laughs> God, now another crazy. Find a camera nearby. Ping. All right, so this mission's actually kind of weird because you never really do this sort of thing again. But you scan cameras and you're trying to track this occurring guy who I guess is a uh, kidnapper so that way they can enslave people and put them on, like, the sex market or something. What kind of crazy-ass crazy ass network software does that camera have to make it colorize the dude's tracksuit and nothing else? She stole Aiden Pierce's phone. <laughs> I mean, it's got a little bit of coloring. I'm, maybe his tracksuit is just that annoyingly bright. No, I'm saying, like, it it's, keeps desaturating everything except for him. I, I get why they didn't in, in game terms. I'm just wondering what kind of crazy-ass software Seattle must have bought in order to enable this function. <laughs> we need software to track down styling salmon pink tracksuits. <laughs> <laughs> Now, there are uh, dead-end cameras. In fact, I do run into one of them, but for the most part, I managed to snag them all correctly on my first try. This this, fir this first time you do this mission is actually kind of annoying, because you can find, like, three wrong cameras in a row, and you're like, God damn it! What do I do? That's great, man. I'm, I'm really glad that you successfully completed this mission with a minimum of hassle. <laughs> yeah. I'm proud of you, buddy. Generally what the viewers want. Yeah. I think I'm going to go out and buy a tracksuit. Look out, you're going to walk into that neon. Ooh, no, got to get away from that. It's going to mess up my pacemaker. <laughs> Let's find out what happens to her. Why that pink neon outshines the neon of my tracksuit. I must away. <laughs> so here's a question. If she knows, she knows this guy's following him, her. Like, that's, that's obviously why she's occasionally running and everything. Why is she running, like, to places that aren't, like, even more public than this? Yeah, that, that would be your, that, that should be your first instinct, at least. Is to, uh, if you know a guy's following you, go to a, go to a cafe. And then don't leave until he does. Or like, yeah, a cafe, a museum, something. Not like this random ass lounging area in the middle of the city. Shitty ass park. Yeah. Of course, if the guy is just willing to randomly shoot a bystander. Yeah. Yep, there is the dead end. The one wrong camera I chose. This can't end well. I mean, seriously, if you, you thought the cops were uh, gonna be on your ass before, yeah. <laughs> okay, so instead of turning right and going down another, you know, another alleyway. She turns left, aims for the corner, and then bashes her own head against the, uh, the, uh, dumpster there. Just tuck her. Hold on. Looks like he dropped something. So Fetch has an extremely good eye, because I still have not seen him drop his goddamn phone in that video. Jenny, do you think you could find out where that guy goes all day if you had his phone? Sure. Well, maybe she actually just saw the phone, because she was standing right there. I'll send it over. Hmm. Back and shut these assholes down at the same time. Bitch, my guys out beating the bushes got ambushed by currents. It's bad. So you want me to rush in and really brutalize the tracksuits, huh? Well, yeah. It'll be my distinct pleasure. Just point me in the right direction. Oh, and Jenny kicks ass. Give her a call. We gotta leave. So we'll do that next time. Enjoy your sex, demon. Ah. Yeah.